You know, there really is nothing quite like the Canadian landscape. It's true, and no matter where you go, it is breathtaking. Our next guest would certainly agree. The Canadian landscape inspires Gordon Harrison's life and his work. Gordon Harrison is in his happy place, following his heart, awakening his senses in a winter playground. I think my senses are alive all times of the year. Um, winter, I love to get out with my snowshoes and my cross-country skis and get on a trail and I have these just sort of blankets of colour in front of me, up close and, and in the woods. Though raised in the urban bustle of Montreal, it's in the splendor of Quebec's rolling countryside that Gordon feels home. There's five generations of my family have been spending their summers up at the cottage in the Laurentians. And really that's where I, I really learned to appreciate the beauty of Canada. And I've spent m most of my summers up there. And it's a place where I go back to, those are my roots. Gordon's roots, like those anchoring the towering maple of Gatineau Park, keep him grounded, remind him of the natural treasures that fuel his artistic inspiration. Art comes very naturally to me. Um, I, I believe it's the gift. I, I believe this is something that I was meant to do. I discovered it very early on in age, and it's just multiplied and and transformed my whole life. I really enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy creating and seeing the art develop on canvas. Sometimes I stand back after I've completed a painting and find it very difficult to believe that I did that. You know, it's come from very, very deep inside me. But it just comes out. I, I, I find I can express myself very easily on canvas. That ease of expression has been a lifelong gift unwrapped at an early age, out of necessity. Very early on I have recollections at the age of three or four beginning to sketch uh, with a crayon or with a pencil. And I used to express myself, that's because I was born tongue-tied. I, I couldn't enunciate my words. But for a long period of time I used to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and I used to just sketch how I felt. Or if I wanted something I expressed it through, through sketching. So I really think that sketching at such an early age had really had something to do with the development of my art today. Gordon has developed into someone many call one of Canada's foremost landscape painters. My art um, over the years has taken me all across Canada. For three decades, Gordon worked with the city of Ottawa as a landscape architect and an urban planner, always tending the dream of painting full-time upon his retirement. I really wanted to get back into doing something that made me feel good. I took some courses at the Auto School of Fine Arts and I really, it's really jumped into it in a, in a big way. At the end of our 10-week course, we had a show and tell and I remember many of the students came up with one or two paintings that they had painted during the course of the 10 weeks and I remember coming up with 35 paintings. I just got great enjoyment out of doing this and I was very proud of my work at the time. I'm still very proud of everything I, I do. Gordon's studio is in the heart of New Edinburgh. Built in 1895, this light-drenched space was once a gardener's cottage. Today, it blooms with creativity. Well, I've been working there for about 10 years, and it it's really suits my needs. It's, it's wonderful, it's quiet, and I, can, I get lost in my studio. Lost in a world of color and possibility, where paint magically swirls in celebration of the Canadian landscape. I'm a very much a colorist. I, I love to incorporate color into my canvas. Even though it's not visually there, I sometimes I see it. And before I start my, my paintings, I, I need to visualize my, my canvas. I, lead, I need to work with my colors in my mind and determine which colors work well together. So normally, before I start my canvas, I, I, I see it in my mind's eye and I, I prepare my colors based on what I see. You, 
you, you produce a lot of work and you work hard. I do work hard. Um, I paint every day, I, almost every day, um, or do something related to the business every day. But it's, it's my life. It, it's, I, I need to paint. I, the, you know, there's a couple of days, that if I go by a few days without painting, then I, I, I feel as if something's missing in my life and I have to go back and, and find my, my roots because art brings me great joy. It just, it fulfills my life. Corn, can you yes. help me out put this painting here? Sure. As does Gordon's partner in life and business, Philemon, the passionate and energetic director of the Gordon Harrison Gallery, which warmly welcomes art lovers from around the world to this prominent capital location on Sussex Drive. It's home primarily to Gordon's landscapes, but houses also the creations of several other Canadian artists. I always say art is an emotional uh, purchase attachment. So when people come to a gallery, Gordon and I always joke and we say, costs us very little money. If you're looking to travel, come to the gallery. You can go from Eastern Canada to Western Canada and it won't cost you anything. But you know what's nice is that people come in and they fall in love with a painting. And the painting tells a story to them. It may not be the story that the artist meant behind the painting, but the painting will speak to them. And when a painting speaks to you and you connect with that piece, people fall in love and they have to have that painting. Gordon's passion for his art is rivaled only by Phil's zeal for promoting it. Others openly admit to having Phil envy. A lot of artists come in and say that I'm very fortunate and very lucky to have a partner who can do that. But one day I intend to write a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I like is when the other artists come and they wish they could clone me, um, you know, to be their partner. So um, I have a lot of virtual partners out there, yeah. I have a dream in life and he wants, he was sort of helping me fulfill my dream. And my dream in life is to have a painting in the National Art Gallery. Hopefully before I die. <laughs> well, have you been to the Art Gallery? And Phil and Gordon are already making other dreams come true, bringing the gift of art to Ottawa's youth. I have to see what my painting is all going to be all about. I have to visualize what it looks like, and I have to visualize the colors. Together they've founded the Gordon Harrison Art and Inspiration Project. On this day, they're at Counterpoint Academy, speaking about Gordon's artistic journey. I used to take a pencil, and I used to sketch what I wanted for my mother. Over time, these students will visit the gallery and eventually, with Gordon's guidance, do their own paintings alongside him. Phil and Gordon will then host a vernissage where these young creative souls will show and auction their work to raise money for a charity of choice. This marks a second initiative for Gordon and Phil. Last year, they brought their project to Ottawa's Turnbull School where they received rave reviews and results. Children are our future. And I, I know when I was a child, I, I got great enjoyment about going to art galleries and, and seeing people paint. And I, I, I know the joy I got out of it. So I'm, I'm just hoping that I could share that, that experience with other young people. It's our legacy. We want to leave, Gordon and I want to leave behind a legacy, uh, behind and Hopefully one of those students will tap us on the shoulder one day and say, thank you for making a difference in her life. And I think that that's what life is about. It's about knowing you've made a difference. Gordon's paintings hang proudly in private and corporate collections across the world. His pieces have been purchased by the government of Canada, countless embassies, art galleries, and municipalities. That little boy, once lost for words, has much to express about this beautiful planet. Painting has given him a voice, and art lovers everywhere are listening. I just want to be recognized as an artist who, who has a passion for the Canadian landscape, who enjoys um, visiting all regions of Canada. I found something that really makes me um, feel whole, feel complete. And it gives me great satisfaction too at the completion of every painting 
to stand back and really say, I've, I've accomplished this. I feel a great sense of accomplishment in my life to know that this is what I've done with my life. I feel as if I could die tomorrow and feel as if I've accomplished what I wanted to in my life. Anything else is gravy. Well, Gordon certainly does capture the essence of our beautiful country. He sure does. His paintings are inspiring, and he and Phil have a wonderful gallery, so if you want to take a trip across Canada, all you need to do is visit them on Sussex Drive. Gordon, Phil, thanks for sharing your wonderful story with us.